As a data owner, I need to ensure that our data consumers are able to understand and derive insights for our data. This is where data products and our AI agent comes in. Data products provides the business context and data literacy to data consumers and AI, and our AI agent provides a faster data ROI by allowing anyone to interact and generate insights with their data using natural language. Here, I have a few data products. I find that the Commerce Customer 360 data product is technically ready to use, but as you can see, there is no business context around it. There's no information about the data product, no information about the views and columns, and no information about how the data product can be used. This is hardly ready for our line of business to consume. Documenting a data product would normally take hours to days to complete, but with our AI agent, we're able to document the full data set in seconds. First, AI documents the columns and views with business context. Our UI then allows users to compare and edit the generated descriptions against the actual data. Editing in more contexts, such as sample values, will increase the effectiveness of our agent. Once that is done, AI can summarize and document the data product itself using the column and view metadata it just generated as additional context. Once these steps are complete, not only is the data product ready to be used for self-serve analytics, it's also ready to be used with our agent. Effectively, by the agent assisting in documenting the data product, it's helping itself generate better insights from the data product. We are now in the Natural Language Insights UI of the agent for the Commerce Customer 360 data product. The agent can answer questions about itself, answer questions about the metadata, for example, tell me what kind of questions the data product can answer, and generate insights. For example, tell me about order trends across our market segments. The agent will generate a SQL statement, and if we deem it is acceptable, we can continue, and the agent will run the query return results, and return an analysis based on the user question. The type of information provided by the agent will be based on the persona that the user selects. The executive persona will provide insights only, the analyst persona will provide supporting data, analysis, and insights, and the data engineer persona will provide information about the query, the quality of the data, and other technical information. As a data owner, if I find that a particular insight and its query are valuable, I can save it as a uses example to my data product to help AI generate better queries in the future and improve data literacy of my data consumers. Once I'm satisfied with the AI agent performance on our data product, I can move the data products to a shared domain so that it can be utilized across a multi-cluster environment that is often seen in larger institutions. From here, I'd like to hand it off to my colleague in another cluster to demonstrate how other parts of the organization can quickly benefit with AI from the prior work I've done as a data owner. Data product sharing is a new feature that allows you to share your data products from one cluster to another in Starburst Enterprise. This allows you as a downstream consumer to easily collaborate with your colleagues by discovering and utilizing their already existing, trusted, and curated data products. Data products are replicated from a publisher cluster to a subscriber cluster. In this example, the light mode is the publisher cluster and the dark mode is a subscriber cluster. To get started, I'm going to create a remote cluster connection on my subscriber cluster to connect to my publisher cluster. If the connection is successful and the publisher already has shared domains available, they will automatically populate within a few minutes. You can see here that I already have some data products able to subscribe to, such as the Spotify tracks or the Commerce AI data product. To subscribe to the data product, I add the respective catalog, schema name, data product owner, and selected refresh schedule.
I'm now subscribed to the data product Commerce Customer 360 shared from my publisher, and I can start using the Starburst agent. Inside of the Natural Language Insights UI of the agent for the shared Commerce 360 data product, I'm going to first ask the agent what questions it can answer for me about this data set. Now I'm going to get more specific and ask about the distribution of order values across market segments. You can see we first return a SQL query, which I can validate as correct. It then returns an analysis extremely similar on the subscriber side as first seen on the publisher side. This is a real life example of how you can spread knowledge throughout your organization utilizing the Starburst agent and data product sharing.